Microsoft Entra has a number of authentication methods. And in this video, we're going to look at what you can do with these authentication methods and dig a little bit into self-service password reset. This sort of view shows you all of the different authentication methods that you have. Now, right at the bottom, you have the auth methods that you can only use for sign-in. Uh, so there are only two auth methods that fit into this, which is the username and password. That's the first one. Then you have SMS sign-in, which I'll do a different video that walks into SMS sign-in. So these are ones where it's what we call the first factor auth. And uh, that's what you do to do the initial sign-in. Next, if you apply MFA, then you have a number of other authentication methods that come into play. Now, there are two authentication methods today that are MFA only, so they cannot be used for a self-service password reset, for example. Uh, one of that is Authenticator Lite. So today in Outlook, there is a light version of Authenticator built in. And if you enable that feature, your users can do MFA approvals without having to install the Authenticator app. So that's part of Outlook. It's built into Outlook at the moment. Then we have another feature that's in preview right now. And while it's in preview, at the time of this video being recorded, the external authentication method, which lets you, you know, integrate uh, with third party identity providers that are non Microsoft, for example, RSA, Cisco Duo, Silverfort, they all fall into the external authentication method flow. And today you can only use them for MFA. Next, we come to primary auth plus MFA. Now, this group of auth methods, they combine everything together. So you don't need to type in a username or a password. You don't need to type any of these in. You can just use one of them and they satisfy the criteria for multi-factor authentication. Uh, and the criteria for multi-factor authentication is that it is something you know, something you have, or something you are, right? Which means... Uh, something you know could be, you know, your PIN when you're using a passkey. Something you have could be the passkey device that you have. For example, I have um, a passkey device here. Um, or it is something you are, which could be when you're using Hello for Business. It could be your fingerprint or you're, you're scanning your face, right? So these auth methods are what we call passwordless auth methods, and they let you just get in without having to do multiple steps to do the authentication. So these are unique because you can use them to do the authentication and MFA. But right now, uh, as it stands with Enter ID, you cannot use them for doing a self-service password reset. Then you have the fourth category, which is auth methods that you, which you combine with the primary auth, like a username password. And then you do an MFA, which is SMS, uh, or using a voice call or, a, or, a, or hardware token or a software token, which is on the app or using the number match on the Authenticate app, right? Now, these can be used with the self-service password reset feature today uh, by combining with MFA, right? You can get to that. And finally, we come to the Authenticator passkey, which is the Microsoft Authenticator app with the new passkey feature. If you use that, you can do all of these three things together. Now, there's something I need to clarify that you might get confused. There are two features that let you change your password in Entra. One is called Change Password. The other is called SSPR. Now, this illustration is talking mainly about self-service password reset where you're trying to change your password because you don't know your previous password. So if you know your previous password, you can use a feature called change password, which if I go to aka.ms slash my security, that will take you to the page where you have the option to change your password. Now, the key thing you'll notice is when you want to change your password here, you have to type in your current password and then change it. So. Uh, this is for users who know their password, they'll be able to change their password. But if someone doesn't know the existing password, then they need to use the password reset or self-service password reset. Let me open up a new window and uh, try to take you there. So the quick link is ak.ms slash SSPR, that's self-service password reset, and that will take you to this screen that you might have seen before. So here we type in the name of the user. So let me say John one. And then you also need to type in uh, to prove 
they are human human type that in now when you come to the next screen that will show you all of the self service password reset options the user has set up now this is what that illustration is showing these are the different things you can use to change your password and some of them are the mfa options that you might have set now what you don't see here and you can see you'll see most of these options if the user has set them up but you won't see options like hello for business authenticator passwordless or cert based auth you don't see those in this view because they cannot be used to set up self service password reset at the moment today right but you can do this which will you know you'll be able to use pass if you have set up pass keys that falls into that category and all of these can be used to uh do a self service password reset right so uh that's the a quick difference between uh the change password because when you want to do a change password you can use any of the mfa auth methods as long as your admin has configured it you are allowed to use any of the auth methods to come in to this blade because you you'll be challenged to do an mfa when you come to the my security info page um and you can use any mfa that has been set up and then you can change it now those are configured over here if you go to the enter portal click through to the password reset option that's where your as the admin you would configure the self service password reset option and what are the different options that are available um and it will combine all those different options with mfa as well as anything you configure here would be allowed right so that's a quick overview of all of the different authentication methods when it comes to self service password reset now as an end user you don't really need to think through all of this or know what the options are because when you come to the self service password reset page you'll be guided and it will only show you the options that you have set up to be able to reset your password for that user right so uh it's more for admins to be aware of as you configure and allow or disallow different types of auth methods for your users hope you found that useful and remember to subscribe for more videos like this